Afternoon everybody, I'm Chuck Norris with Lighted Pinball Mods. We're going to do a quick install of the Groot hands that we manufacture for the Pro Edition uh, Guardians game. You're going to be required to have a Phillips head screwdriver, a 5 16 driver, and also a wrench driver um, for the one nut that's a little hard to get to. It's going to come with two plastics that you're going to put on top of your existing plastics on the right and left hand side of the ramps. And the extension posts and washers for that one. So right now we'll come over we've already pre-loosened our nuts just so they're a little quicker on the video for you so we're going to take off the two nuts off the right ramp as well as the phillips head screw on the top on the upper ramp below or the upper plastic below the ramp you want to retain your flat washer that i just dropped but i'll replace it i'm going to put the post in that are given And that's going to raise up our plastic that you're mounting the hands to so it'll be level for you. Okay. Successfully retrieve the washer. I'm going to put the flat washers that comes with the posts right on top. And you'll take the new plastic that's sent with it. You're going to lay that right on top of there. You do have some room to move this back and forth if you need to adjust it. And we're going to put our Phillips head screw back in the hole. So Phillips. I just want to secure this one down a little bit. And we'll just make sure she's nice and comfortable in there. Screw down your nuts. And that's your right side. For the left side, we're going to take off the nut, the nylock nut that's in the front. And then there's a nylock nut that's back here that we've already removed. You're going to take your plate, slip it over the back one, slip it over the front. Go ahead and stick the front one back on. Once I get this started, you can see you're going to have some adjustment back and forth so you can stay away from the side blade of, your, of the game, the wood of the game, from scratching it. The secondary nut goes in the back, which is a little more difficult to do when the play field's not up. We make it to where you don't have to tilt up your play field or remove a ramp. We're trying, we try and get them in there as simple as we can so you're not having to disassemble a lot to get to it so there's that and you just take your, your wrench just give it a little quick tighten just make it you know hand tight like you would everything else on your ramps or whatnot once you've done that you've got your plates in place the hands that are on there they come pre-cut so they'll go all the way back like this and then all you're going to do is just peel off the back of the velcro and stick it to your plate wherever you want we made them so they weren't as intrusive we had a lot of people at ttf were telling us that the the groot hands in the le were they're just intrusive they come a little more out in the middle of the play field so we made the smaller versions so that way you can place it pretty much where you want to so once you velcro it in place it's pretty much set there so go ahead and do this one just to give you an idea this paper backing comes off just like that. Now you can stick this velcro because we've already glued the other side to the to the mold to the mod. So you just line up your back. Now if you want to go back or front with it, you figure it out. You know how you want to play it. Go ahead and put it down on the plastic, and you're good to go. Now it is removable because it is velcro, so you can readjust it if you wanted to. And the secondary one is going to do the same thing. You're just going to remove the paper off of it, set it to where you want positioned in the game. They're manufactured to be positioned in about this area. So then once you put the Velcro down, it will hold it in place. And that's it. It's about a five-minute install. It's real easy to do. Um, check us out. Let us pinball.